when it comes to building web applications, ensuring proper search engine optimization is crucial for increasing visibility and attracting users. Next.js introduced the Metadata API, which allows you to define metadata for each page, ensuring accurate and relevant information is displayed when your pages are shared or indexed. In this video, we will explore how to leverage the Metadata API to enhance routing metadata. With the new app router, there are two methods to configure metadata in a layout.tsx or page.tsx file. Either export a static metadata object or export a dynamic generate metadata function. Before we dive into these two methods, here are some points to remember when setting metadata related to routing. Both layout.tsx and page.tsx files can export metadata. If defined in layout, it applies to all pages in that layout, but if defined in a page, it applies only to that page. Metadata is read in order from the root level down to the final page level. When there is metadata in multiple places for the same route, they get combined, but page metadata will replace layout metadata if they have the same properties. Let's return to VS Code to understand better. We will start with the first method, which is using a static metadata object. Let's leave the metadata object as it is in the root layout.tsx file and define a new one in a page file. Within page.tsx for the about route, export a metadata object, export const metadata with the title property set to about code evolution. Both layout and page can have metadata, but page metadata takes precedence if both are present. Let's verify this behavior in the browser. On the home page, in the elements panel, we see the title as Next.js and the description as generated by Next.js. This information is retrieved from the metadata object in layout.tsx. Now let's visit slash about. Elements panel, we can observe that the title now reads about code evolution, while the description still displays generated by Next.js. When multiple segments in a route export the metadata object, the properties are merged to form the final metadata object. During merging, the deepest segment takes priority. In this case, about is deeper than the root layout, so the title from about overrides the title from root layout, resulting in about code evolution. However, the description field is merged without overwriting, and the about page receives the same value as the layout description, generated by Next.js. This rule applies to any level of nested layouts and pages. This is how static metadata object configuration works in Next.js. Next, let's take a look at dynamic metadata. Dynamic metadata depends on dynamic information, such as the current route parameters, external data, or metadata in parent segments. To define dynamic metadata, we export a generate metadata function that returns a metadata object from a layout or page.tsx file. Let's look at an example. A very common use case for dynamic metadata is a dynamic route like product ID. If you were to use a static metadata object for slash products slash one, the page title would be the same for every product. However, in an e-commerce site, it is essential to have a unique title for each product. In our case, we want the product ID to be part of the page title, making it dynamic. Here is how you define the generate metadata function. In page.tsx within the product ID folder, begin by creating a new type for the component props. Next, use the type when defining the component. So params of type props. Finally, the important part is to define a function called generate metadata. 
So import metadata from next and then export const generate metadata which receives params of type props returns an object of type metadata and we return a title which is product followed by params dot product id now we could move type props above the function now when we navigate to slash products slash one we see the title as product one navigate to slash products slash 100 and we see the title as product 100. Please note that the generate metadata function can also be defined as an async function. You can add the async keyword and within the function body, await a fetch request. For our example, let's await a simple promise that results in 100 milliseconds. So const title is equal to await new promise and we resolve after 100 milliseconds. For the set timeout callback, we call resolve iPhone followed by params dot product ID. Finally, we return product title. Now you can use the product ID parameter to retrieve information about the product and set the information as metadata for the page. Something like get title by ID which makes an API call. Of course, we are keeping it simple and simply returning the same product ID with the word iPhone prefixed. Let's also make sure to fix the return type as promise of metadata. If we head back to the browser and navigate to products slash 15, we see the title as product iPhone 15. Navigate to slash 14 and we see product iPhone 14. You have the choice of making an async request to fetch the title. This is how you configure dynamic routing metadata in Next.js. Lastly, it is worth mentioning that you cannot export both the metadata object and the generate metadata function from the same route segment. In the next video, let's dive deeper into just the title field as it is such an important field from a routing perspective. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.